Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So in this video for this data analysis in Power BI series, we are going to learn how we can combine our data set. That means if you have multiple tables, okay, and if you want to combine two tables in Power Query Editor, how will you do that? So under combine queries method, we have merge and append. For this analysis purpose, I will also import some sample data set. Don't worry, I'll provide you this sample data set. Just go through the description section of this video and you will find all the links. Okay. First, I'm importing this Excel workbook. In this sample data set, I have uh, this five worksheet. So I will import everything. Okay. So all our tables are populated. Let me go to transform data. Okay, now we are in Power Query Editor. First, I start with this main table. So in this table, we have this year month, category name and count. But if you can observe our category name, staff, resident, visitor, agent, everything is in alphabetical order. Okay, so definitely it will start with agent, then all those alphabetical area but i want to display the report in a different order first i want to display resident information then staff information then visitor then agent so uh, i will add one shorting column in this data set how will i do that i have this category short ordered a small table i have just created the short order in the corresponding category name okay so you just need to go to main table and here we have options merge queries under this home tab just click on this merge queries and merge queries as new so i will create a new table i will not merge with this table i'll just create a new table here you can observe we need to provide some relationships between these two tables left outer, right outer, full outer, inner join, left ante and right ante. And all the description has been provided beside these joining conditions. I will join with this category short order table. Click on this, then category name. And by default, it will take left outer. So don't worry on that. Okay. And my new column has been added with the merge one table. Now, if you click on this area, you can find out expand or aggregate. Expand means it will add this column in this existing table. Aggregate means it will aggregate the data. But in this purpose, I want to do this expand only. And category name, I don't want to include because already it is there. So I will just include short order. So uncheck this, click on this short order. And you can use this use original column name. It can be possible some of the tables has the same column name. If I am going to use this category name, I can check this uh, box. Okay, because here is also category name. Here is also category name. But I will select on this, this short order. I can uncheck this one. You can observe corresponding stuff to resident one, visitor three and agent four all the short order has been populated. So in this way, you can use this March query options. Let me show you how we can use this append queries option. Append means table one and table two will do this union join. Okay, maybe in SQL you heard about union. That means it's appending the first table, appending the second table. Okay, I have this main table, and here we have data for 2020. If you go to append table, here I have data this 2021. So I will append these two tables in a new table. Okay. So uh, let me click on this main table, click on this append queries. Here also we have two options, append queries and append queries as new. I'll click on this append queries as new. Okay. Two tables or you can join three or more tables also. So in this purpose, I have two tables. 
the first table is main table then the second table is append table then okay your new append table has been created here you can observe we have 2020 record then we have 2021 just below the first table the second table has been appended so in this way you can use this append query features now i'll show you how we can use this aggregation options in merge queries for that purpose i have these two tables this the second this table has order id and the corresponding product count and this table has daily level information order id has been repeated multiple times and it has a sales okay so first i'll go to this table aggregation because it has some aggregated informations now i'll click on this march queries march queries as new this is my first table then i'm joining with this this table order id and okay now you can uh, select this count of date we don't need that sum of order id that also we don't need that we only need this sum of cells so sum of cells has been added so for for this particular order id the total cells value has been populated if you want to validate this information whether it has been done properly or not you can check that also for this order id we we are getting the value 5530 okay let's go back to this table so in this table first let us select the value so from this value definitely you can understand that our summation is working fine that means our aggregation query is working fine so in this way you can use this aggregate option under this march query section so in this video you learn about how we can do this merge queries and under that merge queries how we can use this expand option aggregate options and also how we can use the append queries please check the description section of this video you will find the sample data set and this working file also i hope you like this video thank you thanks for watching